Hello everyone, today we will be unboxing the Dell 32 inch 4K UHC monitor. This is the SE3223Q model. Um, this is a pretty inexpensive 4K monitor. It doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. It doesn't have the bells and whistles, but it's pretty, it's pretty expensive. You can, uh, inexpensive. You could probably get one for um, under, um, under $300 or $250 if you're lucky. Um, I got this on sale on a Black Friday deal, so decided to pick one up because I had an old monitor that I wanted to replace. So let's go ahead and get to it. Um, this is the... Um, I'm just going to unbox it and show you guys the monitor uh, quickly here. So this is the retail packaging that it came in. So that's how it was shipped. So it's just... You got the Dell logo, the monitor. And if you look at the back here, this is the back of the box and yeah nothing special here's the side it's got some some specs here on the side and some specs here on the side as well serial numbers and whatnot and then you got the dimensions of the monitor right here if you guys are interested in that and yeah let's go ahead and open it up now so um a couple of pick points here so there's one here that i'm gonna cut and I did get this on Amazon on a sale, Black Friday sale. So let's see here. So we take it across here. So I'm going to flip it around. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you guys so you guys can see what is inside here. Okay, upon opening. This is what you will see. So you got your little manual here of how to um, install everything, the base stand, how to remove the monitor and all that stuff, all graphical, little text, power plug, safety and warranty information. And I did get a slight cut there. So be sure when you open a box, be careful because you can get a paper cut. And it comes with H one HDMI cable right here, as you can see. And let's see here. This looks like um, it's part of the monitor monitor stand. So you got one part here, monitor stand. And this looks like it's a back plate for the cover if you don't use the stand. And here is the base plate, plastic on top, metal on the bottom. We'll put these aside for now. And then once you remove this part, you will see the actual monitor here. So they want you to install the base. So I don't have a monitor stand, so I'm just gonna install the base first. So base is really easy. Take this. You pop it in here, just kind of locked in from there. Just make sure it's nice and solid. So let's go ahead and open this up. It slides. It's kind of hard to slide, so you might have to angle this up a little, but Maybe just move the monitor up at this angle like this, and then slide it in. Okay, and then once you slide it in, you can pretty much put the monitor on. Beep. And then since I'm not using the cap here, there's an arrow that says up. You could pretty much just put the cap on here and just cover the back up if you're not gonna use the beam mount on the back of the monitor. Okay, so this is the 30, uh, 31 and a half inch monitor. If you look in the back right here, this is where your connectors will be. There's your connector. So you got two HDMI connector, one display port and an audio out it looks like from one side and then the other side is the power and the Kensington lock 
So that's all the display port. So that's why this monitor is a little bit affordable. Um, it, um, usually more high-end monitor if you have a bunch of display ports and options on there. This one, if you're not looking for all the bells and whistles and want to save some money, this monitor is good enough. If you just need display in, this is really, really all you need here. And then let's see. Um, you got the you got the buttons down there. So you got your power button and then your menu, menu display buttons there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up and we'll look at the OSD, the OSD of the monitor. So you guys can know, um, you know, how everything's like, so I'll be back in a second. Let me power this guy up. Okay. So I got my laptop hooked up to the monitor. I'm going to power the monitor on for the first time here. So it's powering on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and it powered up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power button. Then I'm gonna turn on my laptop. Okay, so it looks like it loaded up. So I'm at, since my laptop is not loaded up now, I'm just gonna say in first and then let me plug it back in and see if it He's my laptop. Okay, so finally, there you go. It sees my laptop now. And um, there's the display there. So let me just close all this stuff out here. All right, so, I mean, it was pretty much that easy. You just plug it in. This monitor is capable of doing um, 4K UHD or 2160p, which is a 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. Um, it, it does have two HDMI ports, which use HDCP 2.2 and DisplayPort 1.2, uh, which is HDCP 2.2 as well, and it has an audio line out. Um, so yeah, so that is the unboxing of this monitor here. And then let's go ahead, I'm gonna move this camera here and let's take a look at the OSD settings of the monitor, just so you guys see um what some of the uh, menu settings are so the menu settings are down here so if you hit that button you can see here it's kind of small i'll try to zoom in for you guys here but you can control brightness input sources it's got all select on color display aspect ratio sharpness response time picture in picture mode which I'm surprised it has that. Usually, um, picture in picture is usually on high end monitors. Menu, you could personalize with the shortcut because there's, uh, I believe, there's four buttons down here. And then others, which is the display info right here, service tag, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is the unboxing and powering initial power up of this monitor. Uh, very affordable, very cheap. Um, I'll put the link to the Amazon um, just, um, listing below if you guys are interested. Uh, very affordable monitor. Um, it doesn't have crazy um, um, refresh rates or anything like that. So if you're using it for, you know, just light um, duty work spreadsheet, just work related stuff, um, I think it's a good monitor. But if you want something gaming, you want something more expensive. But like I said, Black Friday special. Um, just want to replace a spare computer that I had. Um, and this monitor was a good deal. So why not save me some power? I don't, you know, um, it's got a bigger screen, uses less power, and, um, you know, it looks more modern. So there you have it. That's the unboxing of this guy. Um, if you like the video, you guys know what to do. And like always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and peace out till next time. Oh,